Okie doke, I think I am. Okay, this is the person that's going to be making the decisions, the new dude. I'll show you him up there, Yuri Danilov. And also I'm trying to, I was going to, uh, if you see these big, uh, the big red arrows, I think, okay, hold on, yeah, you can see that. I'm just looking at my TV screen. So I was like, you know what, let's go for Wooj. And, uh, and I was thinking, oh no, maybe we should uh, continue going with Lemberg. And then I was like, wait a minute, that's what caused this whole grief in the first place, this Lemberg thing. Um, none of this is happening. I'm, and I was going to roll for it. And I was going to ask you guys to, oh, which one do you think is the best thing? Like should option A go towards Wooj, option B maybe... Uh, continue pressing towards Lemberg. I would love to flip and get Lemberg. I mean, it was just so secure. This freak uh, just caused so much grief for these guys. But let's be honest, not enough supply, not enough manpower. It's just not the right time. And this is why I'm starting to maybe clue in. I think maybe it's, I'm just not used to, I think I've mentioned this a bazillion times. Oh, I'm, I'm naive playing Hex Encounter stuff. And, um, World War One is a whole other kettle of fish from what I've been, you know, the other stuff I've been playing. And, uh, uh, okay, on a side note, I've also been a few times going, oh my God, you picked the wrong war to really get into, in other words, to play with. Because uh, it's like, it's going to get boring. It's like, uh, no, it isn't. Not the way I'm going to be doing things. Well, first of all, for crying out flipping loud, uh, this is just one segment of what the heck I'm off to. Um, you know, the creative play and just, oh my gosh, I, I was talking to Zoe about uh, scrapbooking and so on and so forth. Just, uh, I'm trying to incorporate, because I, I need to become more time efficient, so I'm trying to incorporate lots of different things that I want to do uh, into one, you know, project or whatever. So like the Zoya Popova um, postcard thing, and then I was starting to uh, figure out like... Um, doing telegrams, you know, for the index card. Actually, Rob said, oh my God, the size of what you're doing for the index card probably be, reminds me of telegrams. So I was like, that's perfect because it's what I wanted to do with like time constraints. Helps me, I don't, you know, like rather than like, oh my God, you're doing another letter. Like just, no, ch -ch -ch -ch, you're still getting the point across. But then I, also I can start doing like a scrapbook type thing. So I can start putting in like a montage of different uh, bits of media or what, like, you know, bits of stuff or, you know, uh, memento stuff. Or, uh, she's talking to her sister, Sophie. I have to find out like a Russianized version of the word Sophie. I don't know if Sophie is a whatever. I don't know yet. Um, so if anybody does, let me know. Uh, because that's going to be her sister's name. Um, well, it is. Uh, whatever. Um, so uh, these are not happening. What I'm trying to say on a side note is what I'm doing now is trying to think World War One-ish if that makes any sense. So I'm like, okay, no, you have to wait until I have enough supply. I have to wait until I have enough manpower. These are things I would like to do. Uh, this is a biggie, obviously. But it's like, you know what? Winter's coming and the whole nine yards. Let's just smarten up and maybe uh, think differently. Think, um, where do I want to be? uh this way rather than um reacting you know all this time and that's what i was like okay you're not reacting by doing it. i'm like yeah but you see, okay you are not reacting in the sense of whatever but also you're not ready to re uh do engage whatever your your initiative or whatever the heck you're up to um Holy F, there's just so many, eh? It's just like, dit, 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 dit. Um, just, the, okay. And then the other thing, uh, I was reading up on the Grand Campaign um, little bits later on this uh, in the day about garrisons, which starting to, um, um, I love, I love his uh, garrison ideas uh, in the Grand, I'm gonna, that's getting incorporated. It was something I was, I was thinking about anyways, it's kind of like a bit of, uh, uh, with like even with the people's militia and I'm starting to think about what to do with that and there's uh like how could I have restrictions it's pretty darn easy like people would be like whoa you're not like you're just turning the whole universe into strength points and no 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 it's it's quite easy to do um, especially with a record book and so on it's you just say okay this for example like at this per like you just say okay this could never go down to a certain strength point whatever or if you were going to ever bring it up or low, uh, 
uh, bring it lower to that threshold. It could only be transferred to another spot where you had people. Trust me, man, it's easy. Uh, or at least in my head. Or, you know, I hope, I hope I'm not being flippant when I go off and whatever, explaining whatever I'm thinking about. Like, you'd be like, oh, that's super, you know, just shut up, whatever. Um, no, so this is not happening. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to start, like I said, continue trying to reduce the front, uh, contract. Uh, I think I had some other stuff to do, uh, talk about as, as per flip and whatever, but, um. No, uh, that's what I'm going to try to start doing is uh, start looking at this thing um, in that way. I also have to remind myself like uh, that uh, I'm starting to really, maybe it's because of the grand campaign and starting to look at things beyond just a, a, a few turns in a scenario. Uh, the, you know, the accumulation of demoralization points and what that's going to have an impact um you know, on, on, on the, on the armies and the fronts for flipping sakes, then you, um, how does the other side do that? Like, do you keep hammering away on so, one place? So, you know, that eventually, uh, with their shaken morale, they can't, uh, they're not allowed to no longer, uh, mount any unsupplied attacks when, uh, someone knows that you know and so on and so forth but i'm telling you on a, a side note i'm getting away from his uh what uh his rule uh we gave you an army so use it um no i'm going to uh put a little bit of a, an addendum on that thing and it's going to be uh we gave you an army so use it wisely okay i know it sounds ridiculous coming from me but what i'm gonna what i'm saying by that is i'm not just gonna willy-nilly throw my no that Anyways, I'm doing it. It's like the, the overall whatever. So I'm not going. That's why I was saying. Remember about the, uh, like where the heck is um, the Great Britain map at this scale, where you know each hex is twenty uh, kilometers across. So I could you know start invading uh, England and so on and so forth, and maybe get Ireland to say you know screw you English. Like I just put money. Is there some kind of way of um, Oh my God! I just also found out that Yuri Danilov had something to do with like uh, he was part of the head of the intelligence, which on a side note I think is totally cool because like uh, uh, you know meandering Mike was like oh that Sauron is uh, you know a, a wily little devil or whatever. I'm thinking well maybe he had some in, like he some of his spy. Remember I was also talking about Sun Tzu in the spy cha uh, chapter, and then he start he ends up moving the flipping headquarters over to uh, Brest Lovosk. I just think this is totally cool. Okay, that's it. I better go and, uh, holy F, it's getting, uh, okay, that's it. I gotta think about reality. Shit. This always sucks.